Good morning, bro. It's been a while since I've done one of these, one of these talking to the camera videos. I actually missed them. Um, this is fun. Let's get into the topic today. If you read the title, which I'm going to assume you probably did, you know that the title is YouTube is social media too, by the way. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I have a bit of a love-hate relationship, mostly hate relationship with social media. And I often go through periods where I just completely delete my social media and I just disconnect from the online world. Um, I keep YouTube and I keep WhatsApp just, well, because I create videos on YouTube and for some social contact on WhatsApp. But I have gotten some comments recently on some, some of my videos saying that people are able to quit social media, but now they're addicted to YouTube. And that makes sense. I understand that. That is kind of what I went through a little bit. Now, I, I could never say I was addicted to YouTube as in like in the same way that I'd be in addicted to Instagram or Snapchat or shit like that. But I, I get it because YouTube is one of those fantastic platforms where you can convince yourself that you're getting so much done. You can convince yourself that you're being so productive because oh but i'm watching all these you know how to videos i watched how to stay on nofap for 90 days and how to build a profitable business in 30 days and like you watch all these videos that are educational and to a certain extent they are educational and education is great and like youtube is an incredible platform for education and learning things and you know like I watch, there's a YouTube channel that was actually suggested to me by a, a commenter on one of my videos. So shout out to that person. I'll put a screenshot of the uh, the comment on the screen right now. But it's a YouTube channel called What If Alt Hist, as in like What If Alternative History or something. I think that's what it's called. I think that's like the long version of it. But uh, I watch that YouTube channel because it's highly informative and i'm interested in history and he just he's just a fantastic youtuber i love that guy he's so funny and so like so just fantastic at making youtube videos but the point i'm getting at here is that although i spend time watching those his videos and watching you know learning about ancient history and all that kind of thing i still have to do things in the real world i still have bills to pay i still have a house to rent i still have you know car insurance to pay all that kind of shit but me watching that stuff on youtube isn't helping me do that and this is very much so like this is a very interesting topic because you'll have people from both extremes where they're like oh you like there might be some people commenting saying oh youtube is stupid it's just another social media and you should you should delete it and never go back to it and just do stuff in the real world but then on the other hand you'll be like no youtube is where I learn everything and it's, you know, it's helped me so much and it's helped me with self-improvement and this and that and the other topic, whatever. It's it's basically, you know, it's, it's made, I, I learned more on YouTube than I learned on, like, in college or university or whatever, which is, I would honestly argue that to be the truth for me. But I think the only thing that makes sense is a centric kind of view of YouTube. Like, yes, it is fantastic for education and for even like say look watching motivational videos or some shit like that or listening to music whatever it is you do on youtube it's fantastic for that but the other side of that is like just watching youtube videos isn't going to make you any further ahead in life like it's not one of those daily tasks that you should be doing like say for example going to the gym um doing the thing that you do whatever it is it like in terms of making money or building something whatever it is you specifically do for me, it's YouTube. YouTube doesn't help with that, really. Unless, obviously, like the caveat of you being a YouTuber, which you're probably not if you're watching this video, because, you know, I'm not uh, I'm not editing this and making it all nice and easy to watch. This is for the fucking, like, top 1% attention span people who will be able to actually sit through a video where there's no edits and it's just me talking to the camera and then, like, you know making eye contact with you and you're not too uncomfortable that you have to switch off um so this is for just just know that if you're watching this video you do have a top one percent attention span and also you're not 
like a degenerate just looking for the quick easy little how-to video or the the cute like dopamine hitting video you know what you know the type of thing i'm talking about but anyways that's a tangent the the point i'm making here is that youtube is great on one hand and youtube is a curse on another hand and the so the only way to balance that out is to have a balanced view and use of youtube so to address the comments that were on the screen earlier talking about oh i'm addicted to so i'm addicted to youtube now but i'm not addicted to social media i would have one thing to say to you and i've said this in another video before i believe i feel like i'm about to sneeze so i'm going to cut if i actually sneeze because you know i don't want you seeing that face but <laughs> um no what was i going to say oh yeah the one thing that i would have to say is there are no solutions in life there are only trade-offs so your trade-off was you deleted social media but then you replaced that with being addicted to youtube and now that can be a like a frustrating experience i can imagine that can be like a oh, fuck like i did so well deleting social media and becoming unaddicted to social media but now i'm addicted to this other thing that was supposed to help me but in actual in actuality it's it's hindering me now because i'm so addicted to watching it rather than going out into the real world and doing real shit that is a blessing and a curse it's a curse in that you know it's it's not ideal it's not what you wanted it's not like the solution that you were looking for but it's a blessing because it's a new although it's creating a new set of problems it's i would argue that it's easier to quit youtube than it is to quit social media that has been my experience i like i've gone in the past i've gone months and months and months like never watching a youtube video whereas like the longest i've been off social media in the last i've been on social media since like probably 2017 the longest i've been off social media has been five months straight like that's the longest i've lasted now there's a whole other reasons why i might get into in another video about why i re-downloaded social media after having it deleted for five months of this year but that's a topic for another day the point i'm making here is that being addicted becoming addicted to youtube is a bitch but also it's a new set of problems for you to address it's a new it you could you could flip that perspective and see it as a new project to undertake like how how can you develop a relationship with youtube where you're not its servant and you are actually its master rather than it being your master and you being its servant how can you flip the script for me i personally have been able to not become addicted to watching youtube videos because i've changed where my focus is rather than having an online or a you know like social media or just a, on a screen intention i've literally and this isn't easy this is not and let me be clear like throughout this video this is not easy shit but it's easier in my opinion and in my experience than trying to delete social media trying to quit social media now you your experience might be completely different i don't know but anyways i can only talk about my experience my experience and my way of resisting addiction to youtube and you like youtube is kind of the same as netflix is kind of the same as disney plus is kind of the same as hulu like they're all kind of the same i know youtube is different in that it's you know it's a lot of independent creators as opposed to like you know netflix series and whatever but the point i'm getting at here is that how i stayed away from becoming to youtube is i limit myself to like i i think the most youtube videos i've ever watched in a day is like maybe five like i'll i'll pick five videos and that's a, that's on a day where i'm like i'm doing nothing else you know what i mean like that on a normal day of my life i might watch one youtube video like maybe whereas normally like i probably wouldn't even watch any videos on youtube because i just i don't see the value in watch spending all this time watching like how to videos or um you know like business productivity hack videos or 
entrepreneur startup program videos all that kind of thing because i'm like watching that shit is just literally a waste of time to me that's honestly almost as much if not more of a waste of time than watching like people's instagram stories because you're still achieving the same thing like yeah sure you might b get better knowledge from watching a youtube video as opposed to watching like someone's you know instagram story or whatever however if you do not act upon that information or education that you've gained from youtube it's worthless it's pointless if you're not acting upon it it is so pointless and people might try and argue that and people might try and say oh but it's good to know things whatever it is to a certain extent but unless you're acting upon that knowledge you're literally wasting your time and everyone else's time bro and that's i think the the kind of key message of this video is like if you're addicted to youtube as opposed to social media you need to develop a, a similar relationship with youtube that you have with social media where you're basically like you know what this is kind of just a distraction it's kind of just a a form of procrastination that makes me feel like i'm doing stuff but i'm not actually doing anything like you're watching a video bro realistically it, it's on a different platform and it might be longer longer form content all that kind of good stuff but like it's still not ideal. It's still not what you should be aiming for. What you should be aiming for is doing stuff in the real world. Like going actually just literally turning off your phone, leaving it in your bedroom, leave it to charge or whatever, and go out, outside of your house. The, even just taking that step alone. I know that sounds so obvious. It's like, oh yeah, no shit fucking Sherlock Holmes over here. But honestly, that's what your i think that's what most people's issue is when they complain that they're you know they're addicted to youtube or social media or screens or whatever like your issue is not that you're addicted to youtube it's more so that you're like you're avoiding just taking the first step of breaking that cycle breaking that addiction and the first step of breaking an addiction to youtube is to literally just log out turn off your phone and force yourself to go outside like literally it doesn't matter where you live i don't care if you live in like on top of a fucking mountain or on the moon literally step outside your house you might be outside for 30 seconds and you might go back in and watch another youtube video fair enough that's in my opinion still a good start as a good first step to breaking any kind of addiction is breaking the cycle it's breaking the like there's so many different things i remember reading a bit a book about addiction by johan harry well no what the book wasn't about addiction but there was a big like solid chunk of the book was talking about addiction and <clears throat> Part of the puzzle is breaking the cycle and another part of the puzzle is steering away from the environmental factors that would cause you to go back into the cycle. So say, for example, for smokers, a big thing that smokers struggle with is they might be trying desperately hard to stop smoking cigarettes, but then they go into a social environment in which other people are smoking cigarettes or they hang out with their friends who they often smoke cigarettes with and they just end up smoking a cigarette. No matter how like strong wills they are or whatever, they just end up doing it. So that's another part is breaking that environmental fact that environmental yeah, factor which can be done by you and that's why i'm saying like step outside your house step outside without your phone in your pocket put not having your phone with you is the like that's breaking the cycle the second part is stepping outside which is breaking the environmental factor and then the third part this is so important and i didn't realize how important it was until both me and my friend deleted our social medias towards the start of this year having a social network or even just a person it doesn't really have to be like a group of people or like a network or whatever but someone who you're both doing the same thing you both don't have social media 
or YouTube or screens. Like you might you might meet up with a friend and be like, look, I'm going to take on this project where I'm going to every time I step outside the house, I'm going to like turn my phone fully off. I'm going to bring it with me because obviously, like, you know, sometimes you use it to pay for stuff or you need to make a phone call or whatever. But have like an it's almost like an accountability partner, but also more than accountability, because like accountability is one part of it but the other part of it is just support like it's just having someone to relate to it's just having someone similar to you doing what you're doing honestly that is actually such a fantastic piece of advice um i remember reading that that particular piece of advice from lost connections by johan harry i believe that's what it's called anyways um fantastic book if you're looking for a book to read by johan by Lost Connections by Johan Harry, fantastic book. Um, especially if you're if you're a person watching this video who's addicted to YouTube, please buy that book. It's so good. It, it will actually like really lay out a map for breaking that cycle and breaking that addiction. But I've given you essentially the three steps. I, I'm trying to remember if there were any more steps in that book. Uh, there pr he probably has a more like elaborate process a, l a more like clearly defined process but those are the three key steps to breaking basically any addiction to be honest especially if it's not a, like an addiction in which there's an actual addictive substance like say the likes of nicotine or whatever if it's youtube break the cycle leave your phone in your room and go about your you know like maybe clean the kitchen or clean your sitting room whatever do something that you wouldn't normally do second is break the environmental factor rather than going downstairs after having left your phone up in your bedroom and sitting in the sitting room where you always sit and scroll on your phone rather than sitting in there go outside or go into the kitchen or go into a different room in, in which you don't normally go but I think the best suggestion is to go outside because, I mean, like, once you're outside and you have no screen in front of you, you will actually want to spend more time doing that because it's just it's just beautiful outside. Like, I'm going to show you quickly where I am right now. Like, even that alone, how fucking beautiful is that? Like, and that's, that's like, that's the shitty part of where I am right now. Like, that's the shitty view where I'm just recording this video. But um, I'm hoping you can't see that lady changing behind me i don't think you can okay there's a lady like changing in my fucking in my rear wing mirror or rear view mirror or whatever it's called um but anyways the third part of that cycle then is do it with the support of like a friend or a family member or someone who you see regularly now maybe you don't see anyone regularly so that i suppose that's a that can be another issue in and of itself which is it is such a complex topic when you think about it that way because you know like a lot of people nowadays are on online communities so they end up like trying to quit social media but because they need a support group or a like a network of <clears throat> like-minded people they end up join in some sort of online community so i honestly think the more i think about it the more i'm like online communities are great for certain things but terrible for other things um so yeah you're not going to catch me in one of those anytime soon but try your best to find a friend a friend in real life who is also willing to take on the challenge of deleting youtube or deleting social media or whatever it is that you're watching this video for like i know I, I know that the title of this video is youtube is social media too and i think the the thumbnail is going to be one of those comments saying like oh i deleted social media and that was easy but now i'm addicted to youtube please like i said this at the start of the video but please understand like i understand the struggle i get it i i completely get it and i think it's a i think actually being not addicted to social media but being addicted to YouTube is actually like a progression from being addicted to social media. I think it's better to be addicted to YouTube than it is to social media, especially if you watch longer forms of content on YouTube, because, you know, you're not getting like the constant swiping dopamine stimulus all the time. Um, but the next step and that, like that's what I'm saying at the start of this video that creates another set of problems but it also creates like another set of solutions or well it's not really solutions it's trade-offs like you can trade off youtube with going outside and doing stuff and then eventually you'll be like 
deleting deleting YouTube was easy, but now I'm addicted to being outside. And you might be like, okay, I'm spending all my time outside, which is great. It's a it's a progression from spending all my time watching YouTube, but also like I'm kind of getting broke because I'm not spending enough time making money or whatever. So how do I how do I quit my addiction to being outside and how do I start making money so that I can pay for my bills? Like this is all that's that's the beautiful thing about this man. I, I get so passionate about this because I'm like all of this is progression. You just have to flip the script, flip your perspective on it and see it as a good thing. Like see it as a challenge that can be overcome rather than just being like, oh, I'm depressed now because I, I beat social media, but now I'm losing to YouTube. That's a good thing. That's a new challenge. That's a new sense of purpose. That's a new thing for you to aim up towards. You can aim to like, rather than being addicted to YouTube, you can just aim for being addicted to like replying to your friends on WhatsApp or like you can create, you can gamify it and make it a thing where it's like, oh yeah, I actually get a sense of achievement from this. I actually get progression from this. I actually get like XB from this if you're a gamer. You know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't have to be like you're a servant to whatever you're addicted to. You can see it. You can just, and they, like, I, I know that I'm I'm simplifying it in a way and it's it's more complex than the way I'm putting it, but it is true that you can flip that script and actually view it as, something to work towards rather than something where you're like oh this is taking over my life now do you know what i mean so i think a big part of it i'd, I'd say that probably is the first step that, like step zero is to flip your script flip the perspective of what it is you're addicted to change it to a good thing be grateful that you're addicted to youtube be like i would honestly tell you be grateful that you're addicted to YouTube and not addicted to Instagram. Because at least with YouTube, you're probably learning stuff. Now, you might be watching complete brain rot stuff. I don't know. I can't speak for you. But for the most part, I think most people who would say they're addicted to YouTube are at least watching some sort of motivational or educational or inspirational videos. You know what I mean? Or they're, they're watching it with some degree of intentionalism. Whereas Instagram, like you're not on Instagram being intentional with what you're consuming because you can't because you're scrolling and it's a new th random thing every time. So be grateful that you're addicted to YouTube and flip the script, like change it. So you're like, OK, I'm addicted to YouTube. But how am I going to overcome this? What's my next step? Like be forward looking, be intentional, be strategic about it and be like, OK, Rather than I, I, with and keep this in mind, there are no solutions. There are only trade offs. What am I going to trade trade off with YouTube? Maybe I'm going to trade off YouTube with just being, you know, really quick at replying to my friends on WhatsApp or even better. A step better than that is like, OK, rather than spending, you know, two hours a day watching a YouTube video, I'm actually going to go outside and I'm going to spend two hours regardless of the weather. Forget the weather. Bring a fucking umbrella if it's raining. I'm going to spend two hours outside just like looking at the grass or like walking around in circles. That is such a good progressive step that honestly it would change your life. Watch this video again because it's kind of been all, all over the all over the place. I, I'll admit that I'll, uh, I'll hold my hands up and say that was a bit of a clusterfuck video. But I honestly think that if you watch this far into the video, you are capable of doing everything that I've said in this video. And I hope that you do. So I'm going to leave it there because that's all that I've got for today. So until next time, bro.